hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i will show you how to add additional properties in microsoft.net identity framework user class so here is my newly pro uh, created project you can see here i have added a connection string into it with my test application name so now first of all i am going to enable migration for this project so that i will create the user related table which are provided built in in microsoft.net identity into my sql server so here is the command to enable migrations in the project So as you can see migration are configured for my this project and you can see the migration folder here. So now in order to create Microsoft SP.NET identity built in tables into my database, I will have to create a migration as you will be familiar with this. So I'm going to add a migration with name initial create and hit enter to generate the migrations for our project so here is our migration created as you can see the default tables of user related related and roles related which is microsoft identity is providing us in our project now we'll have to move update our database so that we implement the generated migration to it So it is successfully applied to my database and I will go into my database and refresh it and you will see the database created my test app with built-in tables which is provided by Microsoft.NET identity and here is the table of user which provided by Microsoft.NET identity and it has some default fields now we will going to add some new fields in the provided application user table so we are going to our identity models and here is the application user class so here we will create some properties such as first name last name and we are going to build our project now we are going to package manager console and add an other migration with name added user related fields and hit enter now as you can see the newly migration is generated with providing the new fields having name first name and last name now we will need to apply this migration to the database so that it reflects the changes on our database on sql server so we will have to type update database and enter so it is implemented on our database so we need to verify it that 
either the column is generated on our application user class or not so here is our table and we are going so here is the our database and we are going to refresh it and as you can see here are the two newly added columns are created in our application user class thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel and like the video if it is helpful for you thank you